Same time, chaos in team fights. As you guys talked about, huge amount of team fight coming out from VP, and that could be used really well together. Willow being able to break that up a little bit, cause a little bit of problems there, is certainly a utility for Fnatic. I mean, it's, it's very true. I mean, we haven't seen this hero at all. I mean, well, almost at all. It's been very few, so it's definitely interesting to see them pick it in this situation when they could... Yep. But here's, <laughs> here's one of the problems, though, is somebody like a Juggernaut or a Lifestealer, yeah. those inbuilt BKBs just being able to bypass all that chaos that could happen in team fights. But Willow, okay. they, have, they have an idea. They have something. Speaking of chaos. Oh, no. Yeah. Chaos. It's all right. Oh. The one thing about Willow, though, is you can snipe the healing ward with, the, uh, with your Yeah, I'm not a realm. huge fan of the Juggernaut here because one of the things I always look at that here is how will the ult perform and all these heroes are just so <laughs> powerful. Yeah, and you can't actually or, Omni PA too much, right? Yeah, PA just clicks and, blur. And Willow can just W and Chaos Knight. He will obviously have illusions. Yeah. So you're not going to get too much of that ultimate this game. CK versus Brewmaster, though. Brew just clicks Dispel, and those Phantasms are gone. Yeah, you need to get... Uh, just get the heart on, uh, on the Chaos Knight. You're going to have so much health. But the cooldown on Brewmaster Dispel is pretty short. Yeah. It does cost a lot of mana, though. That's the one thing, right? Yeah. Uh, we, we see that a lot of times when Chaos Knight just gets a heart at 25 minutes or something, uh, like 3.6k health. So you can't dispel those illusions. Yeah. However, this is looking a lot like the first game that Fnatic was able to win. They have the ability to just jump on someone and absolutely delete them. Not only with Phantom Assassin, but also with Chaos Knight. And they're playing with like no cooldowns. Yeah. Phantasm is their, there's their long cooldown, but CK can be played around it pretty nicely now because of the changes that he's gotten. I mean, v granted, VP's draft is better that they aren't focused around those cooldowns. Of course, Juggernaut, a great mid-game and early-game carry to kind of dance with that a little bit. But as far as I can see it, Fnatic, that is just so much damage coming out. It could be cleanup duty. That Brewmaster has to play really well this game. So by just getting in the face of the Disruptor, right? Whenever you're playing versus that hero, you want right. to be, like, just making those moves, getting the... making sure that you're not the ones getting glimpsed constantly. Uh, the offlane, both the offlane look really strong in the lane either. Like Dark Willow, Chaos Knight, Juggernaut is not going to like that for sure. Yeah. Brewmaster Shadow Shaman also should win their lane. The safe lane carries are going to struggle a little bit here. Last picks now. What does Abed want? We've not seen any Meepo recently. Wouldn't no. be the greatest game here, I guess. It needs a lot of spells. I wouldn't mind seeing... Uh... Ooh, here we go. Alina. Alina. Huh. I mean, oh. they have they have some an idea going into this game for sure. I mean, these picks are very different. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. the idea is insta kill literally anyone you come across. Yep. I mean, look at this: Lena burst, PA burst, Chaos burst, Willow. The, the That's Lina, crazy. Lena is also going to give you a Yule's carrier versus the Brewmaster, so the initiations on Brew should be a little bit harder. Yeah. And she's also since you have to pick mid first, you don't want to. You, want to, you need to pick a hero that doesn't lose a lane terribly, and Lina, she'll do fight in any matchup, mostly. Hell yeah. Oh. A Lina that. versus Dragon Knight matchup. It's been a while. Oh, this mean. looks like, I mean, VP wants to group up and go. Shadow Shaman, Brew, and DK. I like it. That's a thick boy. He can survive that assault for a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys. Hmm. What are hmm. we thinking here for game number three? Who will join VT Gaming in the Grand Finals? Blacks? <laughs> uh, let's see. Dragonite, we have seen him do really well against these kind of bursty mm -hmm. lineups. They try to go on him, he sustains, and they fight back. However, all they got on that sustain is Healing Ward right now, and I love Fnatic's draft with their play style. I gotta go for Fnatic on this one. It's gonna be a murder fest. I'm gonna go VP. I actually like their, their sustain. They have team fight. I think they can actually get the ball rolling. They can control the team fight with the Shadow Shaman and the Brewmaster, so I'm gonna go them. I am also have to go on and go with VP. I'm feeling the Brewmaster pick again with the, just a spell. It's going to be super powerful here. So if Pasha is going to have a good game, he's going to just carry his team like he's done a few times this tournament. So let's go Pasha. All right, I'm going for Fnatic this one because I think they can play very fast. And we have seen Fnatic do very well when they can play fast. It is going to be a very exciting match regardless of who you favor here, though. Of course, make sure you're putting your M. VP vote in the chat. And of course, an exit, Stockholm. Are you ready for this game number three? <laughs> Let's head over to Moxie and Lizard. Game number three, hi 
Loop. Are you excited, Lizard? I'm so excited, honestly. And game number three, VP versus Fnatic in this lower bracket finals. These two drafts, Fnatic, they're pulling something different out. Like, the, the PA is honestly the same hero that they've picked three times now in a row. They haven't really picked a lot of her before. However, in this series, they're relying on that PA and Alina to be that firepower that they need to take down these beefy boys of VP, but is it gonna be enough? Versus the DK, versus the Panda, versus the Jug with the Healing Ward, versus the Rasta Wards, oh my god, I don't wanna continue this. They have an amazing uh, team fight and pushing strategy going on on the side of VP. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with Fnatic draft, though, because we've been seeing, you know, every once in a while we see these very unique drafts, right? We saw the five-core draft coming out from Beatrice Pro before, and now today with Fnatic, you know, we're seeing some heroes that we don't normally see. We've got the Chaos Knight, you've got the Dark Willow, that Lena, which used to be super popular. Um, it wasn't picked up in some of these games now, but here it is, and it's a lot of stuff to kind of fight through. We get the Dragon Knight, too. Mm. They, very okay, early so, aggression. So with that Lena, they do have the burst that's necessary to take down let's say a panda in one stun or even the dragonite if if he does overcommit or go over his boundaries right uh that ck as they called it on panel though he suffers a little bit versus the brewmaster bulldog said it just build a heart but just build a heart. <laughs> yeah, that's typical. That's typical just, bulldog. Just, just go build a heart. Build dude. a heart. Build I don't a heart. Deal with the problem. Then. Find it somehow. Roger and Jab just gonna go for that rune. And Roger grabbing it up. Two each this time yeah. around. I think the laning stage is very important for, for Fnatic. They started as three on this bottom lane, and I can understand that they should pressure Pasha a little bit. However, if they leave CK alone on that top lane. How much is he going to be able to get versus the Disruptor and the Jug? They're just going to zone him out of that lane. So, it is going to be a little bit, bit problematic. However, Roger, seeing the trial lane, instantly adapts. He's going to creep skip there, but at the same time, Dark Willow rotates top. Dark Willow, not really a hero that we've seen played a lot. Uh, VP, they have picked it. Fnatic can use that hero, obviously, as well. DJ is a versatile player. And uh, Dark Willow did get buffed. Like the cooldown on Bramble Maze is much shorter than it used to be. And these two heroes bra with Brambles, with the stuns, with the reality rifts, they can take down uh, the Disruptor or even the Jug if you use this spin. And that's the problem too, when you've got this Chaos Knight, he needs to be able to hit these creeps. He's not one of those heroes that's able to go off into the jungle and recover very quickly. Mm -hmm. So having the Dark Willow make that rotation to the top lane, gonna be able to put out some more harass and also secure that farm. Although, uh, <laughs> looks like Roger has made this rotation as well. So they're going to try to just put some pressure on him. Top lane, yeah. Ramsey's sitting very low. Ice, 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 ice. ice, ice. With the crits, you also heal right now. So because of that, uh, this hero came back into the meta. Actually, in the Dream League qualifier, CK was picked on the offlane quite a lot. As you could trade hits fairly well. Once you hit that level 3, you take level 2 in the crit. You just heal yourself up all the time and there are rarely I, I i actually don't think there are any carries that can sustain versus you asha just gonna drag these creeps back here taking a lot of harass from the phantom assassin but mm, he's just gonna link this creep wave with the next one coming in and then he might port out he might take take the creep wave completely back when you're taking it back like he's doing right now it is a little bit problematic as jabs with that oracle can interrupt it, perhaps even pull it to a nearby camp. This is just the, the very long choo-choo train led by Pasha right now. It, it always feels bad for a support, because you, if you don't have any disable, Jabs does have purge, but it's not enough. It, it, it just feels, he, he wants to purge the DD. Yeah. At least he makes use of the, that rotation towards mid. He couldn't stop Roger and Pasha from doing what they were doing, but at least he got the DD away from no one on mid. That's one thing that I do like about Fnatic is it seems every time that they make movements they're able to get not just one thing done but usually, you know, one other. So for example, you're trying to stop Pasha. Although top bottom jabs, jabs is gonna be first blood. Roger is gonna make it out and he gets healed up by those purifying flames because there's nothing to purge him off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you, you definitely said it in that last game as well. Uh, Fnatic, when they're making these movements, they're thinking ahead, right? Not one, but two steps ahead. They're thinking about what's coming next, where to position their fights, what to do afterwards. And Jabs there, he's, he, his initial thought was, all right, let's disrupt Pasha from doing what he's doing. But then he sees the DD, he helps out mid too, so. 
they adapt very well. That's very, very important when you're playing Dota. It's all about efficiency and being able to adapt. But uh, DJ throws down the Bramble Maze. They've got the spin on Ramses, though. They have the... Uh, oh, it's not going to matter. Oh, no, because that spin's going to wear off. Shadow Realm trying to run himself away. Gets the attention of the creeps, hoping to maybe get that denial. He's just not going to be able to do it fast enough. Ramses finds the kill on DJ. Basically, in that situation, you right-clicking the jug as much as possible so that you aggro the creeps back onto you as you're the one running away and he's the one right-clicking you. And it doesn't matter if, if they are neutrals, they're still going to aggro the hero right-clicking another hero, which is a little bit interesting of a mechanic. It's similar across the map. Like, if you are right here, like, on the safe lane, mm -hmm. and you right-click a hero on the top lane, the creeps are going to still aggro and chase you. So you, you can use that in your pubs to perhaps win some MMR. You never know. Hey, anything that uh, helps you get some MMR is always good advice. Roger, Dagger, and jump forward, has that Aether Shock. Pasha will rotate, take some of this off. We'll hold them down though with that root. They just need a little bit more damage, but they have the shackles on this PA. There'll be the burst coming out from Purifying Flames. One more hit, we'll do they the got him. MP now. Has to just get himself away from Pasha. Looks like it won't be a problem. Mm -hmm. If you are Roger right there, you're not a happy little camper whatsoever. You want to be putting pressure on the Oracle and on the PA, you don't really want to be feeding. You don't really want to be dying on this Lina's aggressive dual lane. Awesome. Lena just Lina got a haste. haste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and comes up and zooming over. There's going to be the root to have the light strike array, and they should be able to take out Pasha. At the same time, Roger, he might fall. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Wait, Roger. what's happening? Okay. Roger. What's, can, we, can we look? Roger. Bye, Roger. Yeah, okay. We, we love you, Roger. Bye, Roger. <laughs> It's the wrong place, wrong time, my friend. He, he, uh, he didn't buy back. <laughs> he uh, respawned, he ported bottom, he went and took his own bounty, but he wasn't fast enough to snatch that bounty away from Lina. Uh, Abed was hasted, obviously, so he killed the panda and Roger in the end. A good use of uh, the action right there. At the same time, I believe there's a four used on mid. And yeah, with that catapult, he's basically looking to pressure this tower for as much as possible. Um, they have to be careful about the way they play it. As you can see, there's Oracle nearby. Okay, he's going away. So they, they will not... If Oracle goes here, you can expect another port to try and kill kill off no one. Mm -hmm. But there is Rasta as well. He's so tanky though, it's pretty mm -hmm. difficult to take him out. It's difficult, but if he overcommits, it's definitely possible. It's all about this Dragonite, honestly, for VP right now. Pasha, he's having a stable lane. It's all right. They have died once, but it's not the biggest deal. They're getting levels. Um, it's a, I, I believe it's very important that no one does not die on mid and that he pressures this tier one and takes it as fast as possible. Jeff wants to purge off that rune. Again. No more double damage for you. Light Spiker A going to get used. Actually, there is Dark Willow that ported mid. Ah, oh, but Ice Ice Ice, he's getting run down now, and Roger making this rotation. Hold him into place with the shackles, and one more hit. Oh, Ice Ice Ice! Still, they got we'll find the kill with the Easter Still. Middle, middle lane. lane. Oh, that's no one taken exactly. down. Oh. Looks back, though, coming out from Solo. That's Don't not, go. They'll that's heal not the kill, up Solo. They've got the Light Solo. Striker A. Can they get this kill? They need a little bit more damage. Abed uses the Dragon Slave. He's very low, 18 hit points, and he Barely. makes it out. Uh, all right, so, yeah, we, we saw Ice 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 dying, but I think what, uh, what was more... Oh, DJ okay. uses the Shadow Realm. They're going to try to hold Roger into place. Can he get away fast enough? Yeah. He needs to be, yeah, he needs to get out. They have the Shrine. They're both there. super low. They're though. waiting for Lina, basically. That's why they're not using Shrine. Yeah. With the Lina, they're going to use the Shrine. All three of them. Excellent usage of this Shrine. Super efficient. And Pasha, Pasha, Pasha. MP. This. Oh, right to the Oracle, just casually tries to body block MP. I think this isn't great. Even though they did take down that Ice Ice in the last few minutes on top lane, they lost Dragonite on mid, and at the same time, they lost the Panda on the bottom lane. Oh, they want this kill, they'll hold him in place. Ice 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 just tanking that Omni Slash. Ramses gets the spin off, Ice 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 will fall. Bramble Maze gets dropped down by DJ. An Does. additional kill on the Ice 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 is definitely good for them. Abed? This Abed, mid, Dragon however. Tail Solo with this rotation. Gonna grab that haste room. No haste room for you, Abed, as he tries to get into the Roche pit. He's got a oh. fairy fire, but... <laughs> I love how Solo didn't even try to right click him. That's He's a such a bro. Support. Yeah, such it's a like, position. Let me body block him. Body blocked him just so the Dragonite gets the kill, gets the last hit. And with that Dragon form and with Lina dead, they're gonna pressure that tier one. 
it's very important for Virtus Pro strategy to take down this tier one on mid so that Dragonite has a freer time rotating across the map. It's it's basic Dragonite dotes. You get those two bracers, power shreds, and you just try and take down as many objectives as possible early on. Is it super exciting? Is it flashy? No, not really. But it gets the job done. Solo is going to get held in place. They have the damage. They need to get a little bit more. They're not going to find it now. Ice, Ice, Ice. He might actually get taken down again. Trying to find the skill on the Solo. Has the Chaos Bolt. Is he going to get it oh. now? With that crit, they get the kill on Ice, Ice, Ice once again. And with these shackles, can they actually take down DJ? It's no very unlikely. No one making this rotation. Jabs is nearby. Yeah. No one rotated top, still didn't take down that tier 1. Kind of wasted a little bit of his time actually rotating uh, towards DJ. We do have the split up on running now on Pasha. MP has to be a little bit careful. Yeah, you could see the pink coming out instantly. He's like, if this guy splits, please, Oracle, port in, save me, anyone else. Well, did he TP top, though? Did mm. Jabs? Jabs just was top. Yep. I don't know if they have that. Anyone can basically. Any, that's you know, true. Come in. <laughs> For the love of yeah. God, somebody come save me. Pretty much. Save me from these pandas. Oh, we see the Dragonite going for that Radiance. I actually expected Panda to be going for Radiance this game because of CK, because of the illusions, and because of PA. It helps out a lot if she's mis missing a couple of those hits. Um, however, on Dragonite, it, it, it's good. No one really likes this item. He's been building it. Uh, on Razor as well, as long as it fits the game. Basically, that's what he does. He adapts to the game with his item build. Perhaps it's not the best, most common build on Dragonite, but in this game, I can see it working. Feels like they wanted to get the jump over on the Brewmaster because he saw, you know, the Lena making that rotation with the Dark Willow, but he's got level six now. It's going to be really hard to gank him. Can they burst him down fast enough, do you think, like with the Laguna, if everything's online? With Laguna, perhaps, and with, with Ice 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 stun. I believe that might be the way of killing him, but without that, it's very hard to burst him down unless you get him low enough. Oh, the split! They start to roll up with that terrorized Laguna. Perenzo comes out, they'll go with the holder into place and they just obliterate on them. They're gonna chase oh, for more! They're still looking for the Oracle Cyclone, throwing him up in the air. Gonna wait. Wait, no one's coming to help Jabs. Jabs, he's trying. They try to get the Terror Rise off. Will get it. Pushing them back. Do and the jump in coming out from MP. They know there's no longer a split on this Panda. They'll go. They'll use the Curse Crown. They've got the Fed Lamb. Pasha will fall. Yeah. At the same time, Ramsey's just bails. He's like, you're on your own, dude. I can't really help you. You're next to a shrine. They have all their spells. You're just going to fall. So they trade Pasha, for Pasha and Disruptor for the Lina. I think you're fine with that if you're VP. You de you're delaying that Lina's Yules even further, so it's all right. You did use the split, though. And is that a sign for Fnatic to try to make more movement across the map, knowing that Panda splits down? I'm just waiting to see if he's going to finish that. Oh, oh, all right, he finished the power threads on CK. And perhaps the CK is tanky enough, like you said, to go and help him out, to go and do some movements with him. Right here, right here. Yeah, the Phantasm is looking. We'll go, drag Roger back, throw out the Chaos Bolt, but in comes Dragon Knight. No one doesn't have that Dragon Form any longer. Curse Crown did get thrown out on him. It looks like they just want to go and get themselves out of this situation, because there's a lot of heroes on the side of VP right now. Kinetic Field coming Olina. out. Oh, Lina gets caught, but they're trying to keep her alive. They've got the shackles. It doesn't matter. They'll take her down. MP TPs into a lot of the heroes here. He needs to run away. This is not the fight for Fnatic right now. It Damn definitely it. is the fight for VP, though. They're still hunting there. Looking at Jabs, they'd like to take it. They get the root off. We'll slow him down, though. He's going to try to buy some more time with that face edict. They'll throw out a casual a dagger, but... Solo? Is there a glimpse of PA? That would be huge. Actually, three He's seconds trying. away. Look they at need him. the vision. They need the vision. They can't find it, though. Can they, though? There oh, there go. it is. Right back into the static storm in the cage. The spin comes out. There's just too many heroes. We'll lose MP. This hyper aggression for Virtus Pro is what we used to be seeing from them earlier, and they're just crushing Fnatic at the moment. They're just running at them. They don't even have their spells. Dragon Form is out. Panda Split is not there. Omni Slash has been used. They don't care. They're just going to run you down because they're so beefy and tanky. Look at these beasts. Well, they had a great time, too. The top lane, they took down Ice Ice Ice, what, three different times? You've got, you know, a DK who's very, very strong early. Didn't even have the Dragon Form like you mentioned, but this is just a hyper-aggressive draft coming out from VP this time around. Yeah, and Still that... an aggressive draft from Fnatic, but, you know, when you have this Chaos Knight struggling... 
It's mm. not gonna feel as good. I think that uh, you hit the nail on the head there. It's Chaos Knight, he got attacked. He used his split, but in a very defensive manner. They used the ultimate of Chaos Knight and then just ran with all the illusions and the hero. And that ultimate is very, like, has a very long cooldown. So it's not that simple to just throw it like the way he did. And they spot out DJ here. Do finish the Aether Lens on the Shadow Shaman, which will be very helpful in a lot of these fights, trying to keep his distance, being able to get that lockdown. Yeah, suddenly you're you're shackling people from the fog. They can't even see you, they're shackled. It's, it's horrible to play versus a Rasta with... Um... Oh, here he is. Oh, Pasha just winding up. Mm -hmm. There you go, from the fog, the shackles are there. CK is caught. Primal Split gets used. They're going to chase down Ice, 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 and... Where, where are we? Okay, where are Roger. We? What's <laughs> yeah. happening? Uh, the TP comes out from Ramses. He wants a piece of this, but glimpse back into the cage. He's split. Get it, though. He dodged it. Get it. Split. Ice and I said, he's going to be able to TP out. Do they have it? No, he's out. What the God? <laughs> Using that, honestly, yeah, he didn't die. But <laughs> then again, you do use that split in a very bad way. As now you're not going to have those four horsemen with you, right? For the next fight. So what's the plan right now for Fnatic, right? Because, again, they just used that split. They didn't want to use it defensively. They ended up doing it, though. And they need a little bit more time on a lot of these heroes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And look at this. VP's not going to give them any time. They're already... They want that blood. They're making this rotation. They want these runes. We'll be able to grab a Dark Willow having the TP yourself out. Yeah, so far, Fnatic, they are using their big ultimates. But at the same time, they are kind of surviving this aggression. So if you are on the side of Fnatic, I think just farm, just get a couple of items that, that are necessary to fight against VP because your heroes, like, they're a bit behind, right? So they need these crucial items on the Lina, on the PA, in order to fight VP. But honestly, I don't think they need only one or, or two items. They need a lot. They just don't have the firepower that's needed. No damage right now. Just like that bottom tower gets taken down. They did use the dragon form for us. They still have Rost Awards, though. Jab. Not sure if they're just going to keep on going. Yeah, Jabs is just like, please don't look at the trees. For love of God. We should be fine, though. They, they've got no idea that he's there. They, they shouldn't look there. Hopefully for him, they won't. And they do have that dragon form. They don't have the ulti of Panda. They have wards. If they want to... Yeah, there we go. The wards are planted, and they're just going to take down this tier 2 as well. They lose their tier 1 top, but I think you're okay with that when you've got this tier 2 down here. Oh, most likely. Not most likely. 100%. 100%. That tier 1 on top falls eventually anyway. It's not really your tower any longer. We just have to let it fall at some point. So trading it for this tier 2 on bottom lane is really good for VP. Fnatic, they have to be... They're struggling right now. This panda, he, he it just looks like Pasha is doing more than Ice 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 is. However, no one no is one. caught here. They have a split. They use the split. Yeah, this is good for Fnatic. That that's a that's a small victory for them for sure. You you force them to use that primal split. Now perhaps you can wait it out and just fight afterwards. This might be their this might be their opportunity. Athos on Chaos Knight, though. I mean, Athos is a really strong item. The it fact is, that it's, it's you on can a drag, cast it from oh, so far. On a Chaos Knight, though. And do they? I guess they need some more catch, but some of these heroes they they don't truly care. Like you use that Athos on Jack, he can just spin out. He's gonna have that Manta soon. Another way of dealing with the spin. Hm. Well, we'll see. Again, this is not the uh, typical draft that we've been seeing during this tournament, so to see some different style of Dota here. This is definitely not the place that you want to be in as Alina. However, he has that use, but besides that, he has made zero moves. All the moves have been made on the Alina so far. And you just want to be making kills. You want to have that at least like a Shadow Blade or something similar to be getting pick-offs, to be killing these supports off, to be even killing off Pasha before he uses his ult, but... It's going to be very difficult, and that Relic is completed with 1,000 gold on Dragonite. He's going to have that Radiance soon. Midas, all right. Midas. No, Atos, none of that. Does he hear us from the... No, he probably... <laughs> <laughs> I hope he doesn't hear us, and we have a big problem. In any case, Midas... 
That, did, that didn't sound like a very happy sound, though. I, I'm happier, I, a little bit happier that he didn't go for Atos. Okay. But at the same time, the Midas does not look like a great uh, answer either, as it's going to allow him to scale, but eventually uh, your scaling doesn't really matter as you're playing versus a pan. He's still going to just dispel your illusions, and you're not really going to be super effective in these fights. And it just, VP is not giving them any breathing room right now. They're really just being very aggressive. Look at them, they go right into the Roche Pit, they use those wards, they want to just get an Aegis and just get the, the ball rolling, I guess. It's already rolling at this the point. They just want to keep it, keep it going. Having a good time. Because they definitely can. No, everyone on the side of Fnatic is just farming. And we haven't really clicked on the PA for quite a long time. And this PA has a Battle Fury, is the highest net worth hero on the side of Fnatic. And with that, with that Aegis picked up by Ramses, you basically have no openings any longer for Fnatic. You just have to be satisfied with farming. You have the Midas, you have the Battle Fury. No, you don't jab. have the jab. Jabs walks into, ev well, pretty much everyone. Mm -hmm. On the bottom lane as well, Ice 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 used his ult. They're just not finding, you know, we talk about them being super efficient, right? And, you know, making the maximum uh, of moves. But in this case, it just feels like the CK. We're not finding that. And again, it could just be because, you know, he struggled. He was a bit behind. Just going to try to TP himself out. I don't think the Disruptor saw him with the Yeah, guns. he was hiding behind the tree during the night, so there was no vision. They aren't finding those because or the kills. That's because of the laning stage and how it went. I think 100% it was because of the Lena and the laning stage that she has had. The laning stage and those two or three pickoffs that they managed to get on her afterwards. She died three times. Once in the laning stage, two times after, and it really did hurt Abed quite a lot. I'm, I'm stoked to see what kind of movements is he going to make to try and come back into this game. Because... It's looking very rough. It's looking grim for sure as they make their way to this tier two. They've got the Radiance, they've got the Dragon Form. There's just so much that Fnatic has to fight into. And it just doesn't feel like they can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with BP right They're, now. I mean, with this Dragon Form used, without the rust of wards, they can go uphill, they can go high ground, they have the wards. They do have the wards, yeah. You know, it's a lot of tank, they've got that Aegis on Ramses too, he's not too afraid. We'll clear out the wave, they actually smoke behind a little bit, dropping the Rasta wards. Oh no, this Oracle oh. just gets deleted. There's the Dabs buyback. is not going to be able to help. Alright, he goes, buys back. This is very important that they have him in this fight, because they need every person on the side of Fnatic. You need to kill the healing ward. If you don't kill that, you oh, cannot oh. fight. They have to use the <laughs> Faith False Promise over on this uh, Dark Willow. That's not the hero you want to be putting that on. You want to save that for your cores. Chaos Bowl gets started. Look how tanky this DK is. He doesn't even care. <laughs> they're that tickles. Them. That exactly. That's a nice light strike array, but they'll drag him forward again. They don't care. They're like, yeah, come at us. Come at us. They'll just take... Oh, they'll try to make some moves over on the jug. Again, he's got Aegis, though. It is just so way. hard to execute Fnatic's lineup right now. So hard to execute this draft. While VP, they just run straight at you. That's all they have to do. Pop some spells. That smoke was a precaution from VP. I understood that because uh, they're using the smoke to approach the high ground with these supports without fearing of MP jumping on them with something like a BKB as they haven't really seen him in a while. So they use the smokes and plant those wards without fearing that they are going to die to one crit or something similar. Um, however, Fnatic, you saw that fight that looked disheartening, honestly, that looked very grim for Fnatic. They're so dominant, and you're, you know, trying to pull in the Dragon Knight, because you can't grab the Jug, right? You grab the Jug, you just pop the Aegis, you know, you use everything on him. But the same thing goes with this Dragon Knight. He's so tanky. He's so How are you going to take him down? You saw the, you know, Reality Rift, Chaos Bolt, they, he just laughs. He's like, that's cute. That's First adorable. and foremost, I think this Dark Willow needs to be the one that takes down the healing wards. That, like the only hero that can risk approaching them that far in is this DJ's Dark Willow. If you do not kill that healing ward, honestly, you cannot take down the Panda or the Dragonite. You can't even think about it. They're just way too tanky and the percentage-based healing is going to be way too high. The concern then is, though, you know, you need, you need the damage from the Dark Willow too. How are you going to take down that healing ward if the placement is so well? You're just going to end up dying. Just kill it, lol. Yeah, now I you just sound like Bulldogs. Now the you just sound like Bulldogs. They're the pros. Just they kill it. Just get a heart. Days. 
Yeah. Just get it, Moxie. <laughs> just, ah, yes. Flashbacks. Bulldog is the best. Just get a heart and you won't die, obviously. Tier 2 just gonna melt. And onwards to the tier 3. They just use the dragon form. They have still the okay. full duration. This is good. This is good. Smoke behind. Take down the supports first. Solo would be a he, good he, target. He just got picked up now. Oh, the smoke yeah. is broken. Smoke is broken. Nice, nice, nice. He just, he's, he's gonna run away. Yeah, he's running he's away running from his away. own base, though. That's the wrong way, Ice Ice Ice. You, your racks have sir. They're falling. Your buildings. Oh, boy. Jabs. They just want to get rid of him as fast as possible. They don't want to have any problems with him with any sort of sustain. He just falls. I don't, I don't know what Fnatic does right now, Lizard, you know. Ice Ice Ice, he's trying to do whatever. He's gonna get hexed up. They'll follow up with the shackles. That's a good curse crown. Static Storm gets dropped. Ice Ice Ice, the jump in coming out from MP. He's got the BKB. They'll take down Solo. They'll take down DJ. There's gonna be the jump again. They have that Glimmer Cape. This Ice Ice Ice, he's still hexed up. up. This is not looking good. Ramses takes him down. MP now has to run away. This looks like a complete beat down. They just cannot kill anyone but this single disruptor who is a position 5 and he's happy to die if they're gonna take the Raxes and the full team fight. This is a huge problem because Ice Ice Ice, he's supposed to be that big tanky frontliner and he doesn't have it. With him down, he's down for 22 seconds. He's coming up very, very soon, right? That's the perk of it being, you know, 24 minutes in. But, There's... all right, Willow, gonna try to make some sort of play here. DP's right forward, cast pull. MP right, runs right in there. They've got the Laguna Blade. He's just so tanky, but again, they've got the Curse Crown. We'll Curse go and rock here. Can no one get himself out in time? The Looking all right. No one does actually fall, though. Ice, ice, ice. He's trying to run away. He's not going to be able to. MP, they'll turn around. They've got the Hex. Ramses, he's pacing over, looking at the Dark Willow. Dark Willow going to go use the Shadow. Look at the range on this here. We'll hold him down, but MP going to be able to blink up onto the high ground. It they looks do hold. like they're going to back off now with no one down. Yep. They're going to be patient again. They do hold, but for how long? That's the question. They do hold, but only because VP, they used all their spells already on that top lane, so they couldn't really even continue fighting. They do have the BKB on PA, but they are 15,000 behind. And oh, the look at the win probability. 100%. 100%. Maybe someone disconnects. What do you mean 100%? It, it, uh, it can't be like, right? I admire the optimism for sure. <laughs> That's my optimism in pubs too. Maybe, maybe he, they'll he disconnect. Sees. Yeah, maybe. Maybe his power will go out. It happens. I don't think that's going to be the case today. Yeah, there's an Agonims almost completed oh, my on Lord. Shadow Shaman. Yeah, he sells some sticks, some wind laces, he gets the axe. And this rune over there. He's going to take down the shrine. Never had the chance. Dominance. <laughs> Never had a chance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, DJ. You know, you gotta, you gotta do whatever you can to lighten the mood, still have fun. DJ's just hiding here. I think it was very telling when you watched Ice 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 run himself away from the rest of uh, the side of EP, trying to cut the wave at least. But, uh, all right, there's a jump forward, pulling them back. They've got the Fierce Ball trying to split up this fight now. There's a decent amount of damage coming over here, but it looks like they're gonna be able to take down Ice Ice Ice. Roger trying to run himself back here. Jab's also in for some trouble. They'll take him out. MP, he's still hunting. He's looking solo, trying to duck himself away into the trees. DJ will fall to no one. And MP, oh, he really wants, so he wants anything out of this, but Ramsey's just chasing him down one by one. The clicks, the spin, there's gonna be the jump back. Does manage to find the kill, but then gets dropped off into that static storm. Ramsey's is godlike, and their buildings are just going down. The Curse Crown buys them a little bit more time. They'll use the fort. But look at no one. He's got that dragon farm. He's just chewing through these buildings. Ramsey's going to join back in. They bought back on this PA, but I don't know what they're going to hope to do right now. Throwing down that bramble maze. The time comes out from Basha. He's having a good time. Yules will get used, though, over here on the juggernaut. Dodges that life striker. He's turning his attention now over onto MP. He's going to have to go get saved up by the Oracle jabs. Again, throws out that perch, but the no one. He finds the kill on DJ. There's the Laguna Blade getting used on Pasha. They'll try to drag him back. Can they get this kill? <laughs> no one can find Again, Ramsey's taking down MP. Good game, well played. You, and the GG get gets called. Beat, Moxie, you can beat it again. The GG gets called. The GG gets, I don't think they felt like that was a good game because if I was in their shoes, I would feel so demolished as VP just ran over them with their super hyper aggressive pushing lineup. That's also just, I don't know. That's a CIS Dota that I remember. It's just, you know, you start strong.